From a Kubernetes perspective, a pod is, you know, the smallest unit in terms of running an application or an application stack. So typically you'll kind of have your pods decoupled in a sense, right? Like maybe you have a pod for some middleware, some pods for the front end, some pods for the back end, et cetera, right? In these microservice based architecture, if you like to call it that, I prefer to call it a uh, decoupled architecture because I feel like there's not a lot of true microservice architectures out there. Anyways, <laughs> but when it comes to pods, typically you'll see, you know, part of your application, right? Maybe it's a piece of the front end or back end or whatever inside of a pod, but you also have sidecar containers. So within a pod, you have a container, right? Container image, maybe you've built and that container runs inside the pod, but sidecar containers means you have your application stack container and another container. So this container could be, for example, maybe a log aggregator, or it could be, you know, like for a service mesh or a third party service. It's usually a third party service. Never, ever, ever should you put two different pieces of the application stack within the same pod. Those sidecar containers are again, just for those third party services. So let's take a look at two examples here. Now, the first example, and you know, we could just take a look at this. This is a Kubernetes manifest. The object is a deployment. So that's the object or resource that we're deploying one replica. And then within the spec, we have our containers and don't worry about the little yellow squigglies. This is just yelling at me because I don't have resource limits set up totally fine for this demo purpose, but we have name, my app container image name on line 19 and on line 20, we specify our ports here. Okay. Now on line 22, we have another container. Okay. So this is container number one, and this is container number two, and they're both running inside of one pod, okay? Now the second sidecar container implementation that you may see is something like this. So notice how there's only one container specified in this pod, but under the labels, we have the sidecar implementation for Istio. Now, what does this mean? What this means is if I run this configuration, the Istio sidecar, the Istio container will run inside of the pod. So we'll also have two pods. So those are the two primary ways you'll see it in the labels or the annotations for the third party or the sidecar container to come into the pod or specifying multiple different containers.